If this is the first time you use Chrome browser, or if you cleared your browsing history, or if you logged out from all your Google accounts, this is what you're going to see at the upper right corner of the Chrome browser. In this video, I am going to show how to create a Chrome profile. To make a Chrome profile, we just simply log in our Google account. First, go to www.google.com, enter your email address and password, complete the two-step verification if required. Since this is our first email address logged into this Chrome browser, this means it will be our default Google account or what we can call as the Chrome profile. Notice that my email profile picture is now at the upper right corner of the Chrome browser. Notice also that the same picture appears in the Google page. This means my Google account is the one I am accessing. Let's say this email address I just logged in is my personal Google account. Now, I would like to use the Google account that was given to me by my school. To avoid possible errors that might result because of multiple email addresses in one Chrome browser, I am going to make another Chrome profile that is solely intended for my school email. To make it happen, what I can do is select the plus symbol or add option under other people group. A pop-up window will appear. I am going to assign a name to the new Chrome browser where I am going to put my school Google account. For this demo, I am going to use school email as the name and I will choose any of the images here. Then I will click the add button. As you can see, a new browser appeared. This is the browser that will house my school email address. As you can also see, my other Chrome profile can also be accessed here. If you want to have another Chrome profile, the add option is still here. Now let me put my school Google account to this Chrome browser. I will log in my school email address and enter the password. Then perform the two-step authentication. This browser now contains my school email address. It is now the default and my Chrome profile here. Bookmarks and settings in this browser will not affect my other Chrome profile. Right now, I have two Chrome profiles. One for my personal Google account. The browser name is called Person1. The other Chrome profile is for my school Google account. And the name of the browser is School Email. With this, my personal Google account will not mix up with my school Google account. I am sure that when I open my Gmail or Google Classroom, I am really using the correct email address. And this is because of the use of Chrome profiles. If I would like to remove any of the Chrome profiles I created, I can click the settings gear symbol. Then on this pop-up window, I will click the three dot symbol or more options at the upper right corner of the profile picture. Here, I will be able to click the remove option. Now, let's say I created a new personal email address. I don't want to create another Chrome profile. I just want to add it on an existing one. I will go to the Person1 Chrome profile. To add my new personal email address here, I will click the profile picture at the upper right corner of the page. I will select the Add Another Account. Then I will log in my second personal email address. Enter my password and do the two-step authentication. As you can see now, I have two email addresses. My first email address shows as the default account. I can switch between my two personal Google accounts. My first Google account entered earlier in this browser is still my Chrome profile. I will go to my desktop. Notice that I have two Chrome browser icons here. One for my personal Google accounts and the other one is for my school email account. If I am going to use my school email account during my online classes, I will just simply open the correct desktop icon. 
Now, what if I have a friend and would like to open or use his Google account on my computer? The best way to do so is to let him use the guest feature of Chrome. In guest mode, my friend will not see or change my Chrome profile's information. When he exits the guest mode browser, his browsing activity is deleted from my computer. My friend can go to google.com. Then he will also see the sign in button at the upper right corner where he can log in. You might wonder, how is the guest mode different to the incognito mode? If I want to browse privately on my computer, then I can use the incognito mode. I can also use incognito mode if I want to log in another Google account and I want to make sure that when I close the browser window, all the browsing history will be deleted too. Now what if I would like to log out from my Chrome profile? What I can do is just click my Chrome profile picture, then click sign out. Remember that this will log out the other email addresses added here. Now, as you can see, my profile picture is no longer here. That means I was able to successfully log out from the browser. I hope you got some tips in managing your Google accounts by creating Chrome profiles. If this video is useful, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. Thank you!